Content warnings. This episode contains topics that might be triggering to some listeners. The episode includes discussion of parental death, murder, and suicide, mentions of gun violence, grave robbing, family disputes, descriptions of body horror, drowning, and discussion of psychiatric facilities. Please listen with caution. Hey, Feely. What's up? Rosie, hi. I'm sorry to bother you again, but it's... Yeah, it's an emergency. For sure an emergency. What I'm gonna ask you is gonna sound absolutely insane. And you'd be right. But I have to ask. Okay. This... This has something to do with Hamlet, doesn't it? We just got a call from the hospital about a broken window and... And they don't know where he is. I can't tell you anything about that. But I will say, I'm doing what I know is right. Can you deal with that? I'm giving you an out if you can't. I... I can deal with it. What do you need? This is the crazy part. I need you to find the gun. The one Mr. Prince used to kill himself and the one... The one that was used earlier today. Your dad has to have it. There's nowhere else it could have gone. You want me to steal a gun? I warned you it was crazy. And you can't tell me why. You're not gonna hurt someone with it, are you? No. The opposite, in fact. I'm trying to make sure nobody gets hurt with it ever again. Then I guess I have to help you. I'll find it. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you. Bring it to the cemetery. I'll be waiting by Mr. Prince's grave. Whatever you do, don't touch it. Cover your hand with a glove or a cloth or something. That part is really important. Promise me you won't touch it. I promise. And I'll be there. Are you two absolutely sure about this? This is drastic. You're positive on the translation. Yes. If we can get the gun and lay it to rest beside its first victim, we can end the curse. That means we need to unbury my father. But it's grave robbing. It's not robbing if we don't take anything. We're adding something. Now, less talking, more digging. All right. Get down. Car. Shit, shit. They're coming over here. Shut up. They're going to hear you. Feely? That's Rosie. She came. Boost me out of this hole. You said to meet you here, and I brought the... I brought it, but... Rosie! Ah! Shh, shh, shh! Someone's gonna hear you. I... Oh my god, are you digging up Mr. Prince? It's not what it looks like. It's exactly what it looks like. Ah! Hamlet and Horatio are here, too. I probably should have said... Sorry. Did you bring it? The... The gun? I have it, right here. Take it. I don't want it. Is that a Ziploc bag it's in? Feely said not to touch it, so... It's a perfect solution. Thank you. Rosie, you have no idea. And I don't want to. I'm... I'm glad I could help. I think. But this is as far as I go. I don't want to know anything else. Do what you have to do, but I can't help you dig up a grave. I understand. You've already done enough. But I have to ask you one last favor. What is it? Don't tell anyone you were here. 
or that you saw us, or even heard from us. I know you're not going to want that, but it's important. We have to finish this. H how long do you need? Give us until morning. Can you do that? Yes. Thank you. I'm leaving now. Before Julia and my dad swing by the hotel and realize I'm gone. Good luck. I think. Here's hoping we can take her at a word. How far down are you guys now? Four and a half, five feet. You'll go faster. You kept helping. Right. Make room. Stop. I hit something. Phoebe, start brushing the dirt to the sides. We're down far enough. Horatio, help me work on getting this coffin lit up. Are you sure you want to open it? It's your dad. And even with embalming and stuff, a body doesn't last forever. I know if it was my family member, I wouldn't want to see that. I don't think it matters much what I want anymore. This has become about stopping Claudius, not just my personal revenge. The book said lay it to rest beside the first victim. Not just throw it in the hole. If we have to do this at all, we ought to at least do it right. Besides, I've already seen his body and his ghost. Whatever's in the box isn't him anymore. I can take it. I just wanted to make sure. Feely, hop out. We're opening it. Gladly. Feely, could you pass me the gun? Here, careful. I open the bag. Is that it? We just have to place it in the casket? There's no incantation or anything? We don't have to... Chant? That's it. Should we close it back up? It's strange, isn't it? The urge to preserve the bodies of our relatives... It's more morbid than the actual death itself, I'm starting to think. Death is one thing, but it's because we preserved and buried him that I'm staring at my own father's open skull right now. Do you see it? Wet bone in the rain. It's, I should say, horrific. And yet it's still my father. I still have an emotional attachment to these bones in the mud. I look at this scene out of a horror movie, and instead of being disgusted, I remember what the bones used to be. How much I loved what these bones were a part of. I look at this corpse, and I feel love. <laughs> Isn't that sick? I think we are sick, Hamlet. Sick and fucked up and trying to do the right thing. We should close it, Hamlet. You're right. This needs to be over. Ready to start filling it in? No. But we should do it anyway. You guys start. Got my shovel handle all muddy climbing out and it's slipping everywhere. Go rinse it off in the creek over there and be right back. Don't let anyone see you. No shit. What are you going to do now, man, once we fill in his grave? It's not like I can go home, can I? My mother and Claudius had me committed. I won't go back to Kensington, since you've already gone through the effort of breaking me out. I can't retreat to the offices, since I'm banned from the premises. I can't plead sanctuary from my father's associates. They all probably know I killed Polonius by now. I don't know what I'm going to do, Horatio. You can crash at my place as long as you want. You know that, right? I can't do that either. It's way too close to Claudius, 
and it would paint a huge target on you and your grandmother. I couldn't live with myself if I was the reason Claudius went after your family. If he was going to, he probably would have already. But I see where you're coming from. I'll figure something out. I always do. Philly's been gone a pretty long time just for rinsing off a shovel handle. That creek's not that far. Maybe digging up a grave got to her. She was pretty gung-ho about it up until now. You'd think filling it back in would be the easy part. You would. Do you think- That was Feely! Run! Feely! Feely, where are you? There! In the water! Help me get her out! Christ! She was face down! There's gotta be water in her lungs. Feely! Feely! What happened? Um, she's not breathing. No, 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 she has to be breathing. It's, it's Feely, she's got to be. Get out of the way, she needs CPR. Call an ambulance. But the grave, forget about the grave. Call 911. No, you're right. Come on, Feely, you got this. One, two, three, four, five. Two breaths. One, two, three, four. I need an ambulance five. at King's Cemetery. My friend, my girlfriend fell in the creek and she's not breathing. She's not breathing. Oh, God, please. Please, we need help. No! Julia! Hi! You surprised me. Didn't think I would be back. It's not that, I just... Where were you? Dad asked you to stay here, but when we got back, you were nowhere to be found. The car was gone, and now you're dripping wet. I... went to get coffee. Okay. Where's the coffee, then? I didn't think so. What did you give her, then? Ophelia, of course. That's who you went to see, isn't it? Did you help her and Hamlet with their little investigation? You did. Didn't you? I can see it written all over your face. Please, Julia, don't tell Dad. It was just one little thing. Of course I'm going to tell Dad. You know how hard he's worked for this. And here you go threatening to screw it all up. Julie, I'm sorry. I was just trying to... What are you doing? Are those spell candles? Dad's busy right now. So I'm fixing your mess. Julia, you don't have to do this. And you didn't have to turn on us. You made your choice, and I'm making mine. Are you going to cooperate, or do I have to lock you in the bathroom? I'll... I'll cooperate. <sighs> Good. But if you hurt her, if you kill her... I don't think I can forgive you for that. Are you kidding me? You met this girl a week ago. I'm your sister. I know you are, but you've... changed lately. You're different. I've learned how to make the hard decisions, Rosie. And it's time you did, too. <laughs>